Okay guys, it's like the 3rd of January, um, 2010. It's cold out here. Um, I don't want to be out here, but we're getting snow. And I need to get this winch from my plow on this thing. I'm going to have to weld the bracket. Um, originally I was going to put a hydraulic pump on, but um, I mount the hydraulic pump. Everything's ready. I have the controls. You see the big reservoir in there. Anyway, um, what's happened is the hydraulic hose is going to cost me more money than this winch is going to cost. This winch cost me $39, and I hope it lasts like a couple seasons. It'll be worth it. Um, what we're going to do is mount it to this plate up here. It was going to be cheaper than putting the hydraulic hose on and fooling around with everything. So, And I didn't really care about the power tilt right now, so I kind of chained it both sides, tightened it up. It ain't going anywhere. So, uh, okay, so now I need to drill, uh, blow two holes through here at the torch and weld it on both sides and give myself something to put it on, but um, I can't have the cable hitting anything, so I'm going to have to mount it. I'm going to have to tilt the plate like this a bit so the cable doesn't rub anything. Because you don't want to rub the cable. It'll cut it right in two. Eventually it'll fray and everything. Um, okay, so... Yeah, like I said, I don't want to be out here, but, you know, it's got to be done. And I will be getting to the lawnmower, like, real soon. It's supposed to warm up this week. Um, all I have left on it to do, well, there's a lot of work left on it, but I have to put tubes in these tires. Um, may have to find another rear end, but I have the blocks to tension it now. I just haven't got in there and got... Um, I have two blocks to go on here over top the rear end with threaded rod to, t to tension it properly. So we'll be getting to that shortly. Stay, bear with me. <laughs> so we're going to do this now. Okay guys, this isn't going to work. My MIG well is messed up. It's too cold out. So uh, we're going to scrap that idea. And I'm simply going to put two holes in the top of this to melt the winch on. So I can pivot a bit. It'll work. Too cold out, the torches won't even work. My finger is five minutes, I can't feel them. And we'll, we'll have to take it into work. Okay, it's a few days later and we're getting more snow. Um, and I finally got this winch mounted. Um, it says 1,500 pounds, but you know what? It's not very strong. Yeah, I had to go in to work and uh, drill the holes in my top piece here. And I cut the, as Chris would say, cut the antlers off of that baby right there so the cable wouldn't hit. And you'll see what I mean. It's not very strong. It comes with a short. I was just about to cut the cord, but I may end up selling this to Buddy at work. Um, so, oh, that's the wrong one. Okay, so there's up. Oh, you know what? And I think it killed my battery. Okay, we'll try number two with it running. Now we'll go up. Oh, that's down. There's up. It barely, barely, barely picks the blade off the ground. It's supposed to be for 1,500 pounds. 
Martin Reed on at 1,500 pounds. Well, that isn't 1,500 pounds, and it won't lift that up. So, I think we're going to do... Now, this winch, when I bought it, it came with the... Get this out of my pocket. Pepsi. Where to do that? It came with this unit right here to give you more lift. And I think it, it the rating they have on the winch is for with this block in here. It gives you a mechanical advantage. So it gives you some more. We're going to install this on the end of that. And then we'll see what it works, how it works. Is it a big difference or not? Because I have a feeling we're going to get dumped on tonight. It's starting to snow a little bit. It just had enough to make a mess, so it did. Okay. With that little winch blocky thing attached, it should give me some mechanical advantage. And all I've done is put the hook back onto itself. So, let's try it and see what happens. <laughs> it's better, but... Still not very satisfactory. Um, I was hoping to get the winner out of this, but I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and get a hydraulic hose to this pump and rig that up. Because I'm not happy with this setup at all. But I'm just scared it's not going to last. But it does give it a bit of a more of a mechanical advantage. Here it's not straining it anymore. Ah, uh, maybe I'll leave it on. I hate to waste the hydraulic pumping that on, on this old piece of uh, you know but I can see this thing burning out it's not killing the motor near down as far as it was before so maybe it'll be okay what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut the wires and stuff and extend this handle because it's meant for four wheeler I think and it doesn't uh, they're not really long enough so that's that. Hopefully we get some snow tonight and we can test it out. Last year I bent this thing. I hit a, I think I hit a tree with it or something. I don't know. I should fix it. But it's getting kind of cold out. But we'll see. Yeah, and this is a 96 Pathfinder. I picked this up at work for, uh, what did I pay for it now? I paid 100 bucks for this thing. It had some issues, when I, like mainly brake lines and stuff, but I fixed that. So, it's pretty good. It's got, a, like all Pathfinders in 96, uh, I can't really see in there. The frame's rotted over top the wheel well, or over top the rear end. And she has 151,000 kilometers, that's it. And the guy decided to junk it. Can you believe that? The thing was like new inside before I got to it. Now I use it for fencing and well around the farm and stuff. So, that's that. Now we can get on the lawnmower. Now this project's mostly out of the way. Just a last minute thought. Um, that pulley does make a difference. So I'm thinking I'll go back to my favorite place, Canadian Tire. And I might just buy another one to put at the top. And then run the cable back down there. It should be a lot easier on the winch. Anyway, just an afterthought.